Hello everyone, so Deanna and I have spent the last week here in beautiful Tanzania. Do you love this place? I love it. It is incredible. We've done so many things in the safari world. We're actually in Serengeti National Park right now. Cruising across the Serengeti. Bucket list stuff right here. Oh my god. Look, come on up. I like them because they're so short and tiny. And uh, it's her first time in mainland Africa. And what are your thoughts on mainland Africa? It's beautiful. It's amazing. I love the nature, the ecosystem, how it's well preserved, like pristine and pristine condition. Right. How the animals are being taken care of. And so here's the thing. COVID has been going on for a while, almost a year now. We started off 2020 traveling. We were in the Philippines, the US, Panama and Dominican Republic. It's amazing. I love all the Latin Americas and South America and it's so beautiful. And then all of a sudden everything shut down and I haven't been to the Philippines, which is our home. It's where our dog is and it's where everything is, Pretty our dog. apartment. Mm -hmm. I haven't been home in like 10 months and it really hurts me because I've yeah. basically been locked out. So for a relationship, it's been really difficult and there are millions of people around the world right now who are long distance couples who are really struggling and we are one of those couples and we feel for you guys and we just wanted to kind of let you guys know how we're feeling and, and would love to hear your guys' thoughts. The hardest part is that we've only seen each other twice in the last yeah. six months. Twice. Yeah. I mean that's been really really tough to completely rely on yeah. you know internet. Also yeah not only that it's like also when it's hard getting a support from each other when you're far away like when I have problems or when I get stressed exactly. and when you get stressed like the first instinct is that you want comfort mm -hmm. or you want to be comforted by your partner but right now it's like so hard because you cannot like you just have to deal right. with it by yourself or by the immediate people right. you know that you're with and so we have to keep meeting in third party countries so the first time was Turkey so we're here in Istanbul to end the day and Deanna's getting some ice cream here on the side <laughs> Can you give it to me? Please, please take it. Oh my god. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So walking around Istanbul, there are cats everywhere and Deanna just What's made a best friend. What's his name? I'm I'm naming him uh Dalmatian 101. We're here at the Hagia Sophia. Beautiful, but we're, we got kicked out. Yeah, we just got kicked out because it's prayer time, but it's so beautiful in here. Now we're in Tanzania. Yeah. Hopefully we don't have to meet again in a third party because you can come to the U.S. Mm -hmm. They're not blocking anybody, which is good. So hopefully 2021, it's going to be the year that, you know, we can all hug each other and see each other and be together. It's been so stressful for everyone in the world in more ways that we ever possibly imagined. And so not only for relationships, but for a lot of yeah, you know, yeah. aspects. People losing their lives, people getting this sick, is. being separated, businesses collapsing, economies tanking, and countries being closed. I'm really hopeful that that will all end uh, come 2021. It will. I'm really, really hopeful. And I'm positive. It's been really hard because she's been in the Philippines and the Philippines has been the most strict in terms of lockdowns. Yeah. Even Filipinos themselves couldn't leave for like six months. They were trapped in their own country and all the overseas Filipino workers weren't not able to come back to the Philippines. A few months ago, the government finally eased restrictions only for Filipinos. Mm -hmm. They still blocked foreigners from coming in. So Deanna's able to leave Actually, right now as we speak this, they just put another quarantine mm -hmm. in and you need to do a 14 day quarantine when you get back, which really stinks, yeah. but it is it's part of the deal. <laughs> and for me, I've been traveling around, but it's been really hard to be apart from you. And thankfully we have Skype and FaceTime and WhatsApp. So we've been talking every day, yeah. but still it's like, it's really challenging. Hard. Nobody expected life to throw a curveball at us. Nobody expected us to be separated and have all these challenges. But in my opinion, if you're in a relationship uh, long distance and you made it through COVID, you can make it through anything. Do you think so too? I would think so. It's also the trust that you have for each other. Right. Like trust that it's, it's gonna be over, trust that you know there's a brighter, um, you know, next coming months, it's all trust. <laughs> it's all trust and we know that COVID is a temporary thing and it will be over with and we're really looking forward for the time that I don't have to worry about how I'm gonna visit you. Yeah, like how can I dog. how can I get into the Philippines? Yeah, we have a dog and, and I love the Philippines and I wanna go there. So 
Yeah, we're just kind of documenting how we feel um, in these days, and we would love to hear your guys' thoughts, comments, and opinions. If you were in a long distance relationship, how did you deal with it? How have you dealt with it? If you're separated from your partner, what have been the challenges? We'd love to hear yeah. uh, your guys' comments. What were comments. the measures that you took? Right. For you to be able to you know to become stronger together and how did you overcome it so yeah. please let us know thank you guys so much cheers from beautiful tanzania and the beautiful drafts and elephants that are just in our distance there's no giraffe ah, there was earlier <laughs> that's why i said it it's okay the camera's facing there's us nothing the camera's nothing facing us here. there was there was nothing. there's a draft nothing. I just want to say, I met Deanna when I was at Country 69, right? 74. 74. Five years ago. Now I'm at 192. How do you feel about that? I'm so f***ing proud of you. <laughs> but I'm almost done. I'm so proud of you. I only have five more countries left. I'm so proud of you that you're doing your documentary. You're doing what you love. Guys, the documentary is going to be really cool. I've been working on this idea for like two and a half years and I finally teamed up with a, an amazing uh, production uh, company and director in LA and they'll be coming out with a camera crew to meet me and track me in my last six countries and mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot about my realizations of visiting every country, behind the scenes of my life and just the beauty of visiting every country in the world. And so yeah. stay tuned for that guys. It's going to be a huge, huge piece of my life and, and I'm excited to, to finally have it come out. So. That's it guys, Deanna, love you so much. We did it, we successfully saw each other during these horrible times and I will see you again in a month. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you later. You're so snuggly over here. Look at Deanna, this is like medicine for her, this road. She, she wants bumpier, she wants bumpier. Yeah, I don't want it to get... Yeah. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as I take you to every single country in the world.